What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? 392 Blur Lots coming back at you with another quick video. All right, this video here, it's going to be a quick one. First time coming to the channel. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> All right, we are uh, just making a quick run right quick. I had to um, make a run up here, pick up a package. Package coming in the mail. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Package coming in the mail today. Um, this was, um, was a hood scoop that I ordered for um, Operation Dart. Now, I just ordered the hood and the trunk lid. Just left the post office. Checks in the mail. Just left the post office for the lift off hood, lift off trunk lid. And um, I ordered this, this scoop here. Uh, I ordered it a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna check it out and make sure that it's what I want. Um, the plan was to have the scoop that I wanted to put on there um, molded because normally they're bolt on and when I talked to the um, the guy at the fabric fabric fiberglass shop he said that he could um he could actually make it a one piece so he can make the scoop right on with the hood and it'd be one piece no bolt on or anything of that nature so the scoop I was looking at when I saw this at a swap meet, um, it looked real nice. I mean, it looked good. And then when I called him up a couple weeks ago, I told him what I wanted. And then I happened to go online and looked up that particular scoop. And from the measurements, it was huge. And I'm like, no, that's not what I want. But when he put the scoop on the hood, at a swap meet, oh, it looked real good. So I'm, I'm wondering if this is the same, if this is the same scoop that I originally saw at the swap meet as to the one that I looked up online. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna bust this box open, I'm gonna bust this package open, and I'm gonna set it on top of my factory hood and see how it looks. If I don't like it, I should, I should like it according to how it looked on a car in the picture. So hopefully I'll like it. But if I don't, I'm going to call him up. Call up Larry at Sled City. That's where I'm getting this fiberglass hood, this fiberglass trunk lid, this place out of Orient, Ohio, called Sled City Fiberglass. I'll give him a call and say, hey, Larry, we need this. We need to do something about a hood scoop because the one I just got, it's not what I wanted, but I don't know that yet. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to bust this box open. You're going to see it. I'm going to see it. We're going to see it together. And if it ain't what I want, I'm going to send it back. I might keep it on. My plan is to send it back. <laughs> if it ain't what I want, I'll send it back and I'll call up Larry. And we'll see if we can't get something else done. So, I'm going to pick this camera back up when I get to the crib. And um, we'll go from there. So, I'll be right back at you. Peace. All right, all right. right we made it back. We at the crib. We're going to bust this box open real quick. And we're going to find out exactly what this entails. And uh, see how it looks out here on Operation Dirt. Hey, it's a little chilly out here. This Michigan weather is tripping. It's chilly out here, so I ain't gonna be out here very long. <laughs> I'm not gonna be out here very long at all. I had to open up that door in the garage. This one I ain't open up too much. It's cold out there, so you see what I got on? Hey, I'm not trying to be out here long. We just gonna open up this box and uh, see what's going on. Um, this, this is from Brazil, Indiana. Um, you know, I don't even, 
I don't even know who I, I don't even know who I bought it from without uh, <laughs> going back and looking at it. But it is from Brazil, Indiana. And um, you can see they put fragile on it. Do not crush. It better not be broke. <laughs> Man, the USA, in God we still trust. In God we still trust. Psalms 118, 24. This is the day which the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I know I got that one right. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and bust this thing open. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got enough tape on it. Like I said, I ain't going to be out here too long. We just going to see what kind of action we got going on here. They take chuck, don't they? They made a box. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. What kind of action we got going on here? I sure hope this is what I want. I don't want it to have to grow on me. I want to just see it and be like, oh, yeah, I like that. I don't want to rip the bag all up just in case. Just in case I got to send it back. Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate. If you were standing at the gate of heaven and God were to ask you, why should I let you in? What would you tell him? What would you tell him? If you were standing at the gate of heaven and God were to ask you, you, I know what I'd tell him. Say, Lord, because I've been serving you. I've been faithful. I've been living holy, not just on Sunday, but seven days a week. Do I make mistakes, Lord? Yes, I do. I'm fallible. You know I make mistakes. But when I make a mistake, Lord, I'm asking you to help me never to make those mistakes again. Lord, I repent. What he got to say? He said, well, I think I lived a pretty good life. God says, well, what about all the wrong things you did. He says, oh, those. Well, I tried my best, didn't I? God says, oh, really? He says, what about the time? I know, I know. Don't remind me. Well, maybe I didn't always try my best, but I was sincere. Sincere? What is sincerity worth? You can be sincerely wrong, can't you? Well, yes. Yes. So sincerity really isn't the issue. Let's get back to the question at hand. Why should I let you in? Well, I went to church every Sunday and my life through snow and sleet and rain. God doing one of these numbers. Doesn't all of that effort count for something? He says, I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. He says, goodbye, poof, wait a minute. He says, save me. What must I do to be saved? Just a dream. What must I do to be bonk? Bible falls on his head. What's this? A Bible. Wow, look at this. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. Acts 16, 30 and 31. He says, you see, God loves you and really wants to have a relationship with you. He says, wow. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. That's the scripture. But our problem is sin separates us from God's love. He says, wow. But your iniquities have separated you from your God and your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. He will not hear. Mm. Jesus Christ came to free us from sin and to bring us into a right relationship with God the Father. He did this by dying on the cross and our substitute as our substitute and rising again. He says, wow. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 So to get in heaven, we need to turn to God and trust Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, depending on him alone for salvation. Leave on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts 16.31 Lord, I believe. Now what would you say if you were standing at heaven's gate? I hear what he's saying. A little bit more to it than just that. A little bit more to it than just that. But I share that with you because that's what was shared with me. Now, like I said, there's a little bit more to that. It's not just believe, but to be, but believeth. It's a continual thing. It's not just to believe. It's something you have to continue doing. And if you believe, then you will do what he says. He says, do you love me? Jesus said, do you love me? He said, yeah, you know I love you. He said, then keep my commandments. If you love him, keep his commandments. Now, let's get back to business. See, I don't, I don't want to get to preaching to nobody out here. <laughs> we come out here to see what this soup is looking like. My hand's getting cold. All right, what we got here? Harold, I'm going to have to read that. I'm not going to read this to you. Hey, they... Man, they, they gave me something to read. They gave me some literature. I should be giving somebody else some literature. All right, we're going to find out what we got going on here. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Get this out of the way. Cover back. Let's see what kind of action we got going on here. I think I would want to line it up with these back here. See what we got going on here, boys and girls. You know what? That does not look bad at all. I think I might be able to live with that. What you guys think? Think we can live with that? Um, they, they make these, they got these little braces. They got these braces that, let me take this off here for a minute, turn you around here. They got these braces that they put on these and some of them, they only have one, they'll come from the center straight down. Some of them, they'll have two of them, you know, to give it a little bit more support. 
But you know what? I think, I think I can get down with this. This might do it. I think this this might do it. Not too big. What do you think, boys and girls? Think we can ride with that? We can ride with that. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like from the captain's chair. Let's see what kind of action we got going on here. I may be able to roll with that. I am going to roll with that. I do like that. And I better get mounted down. He's going to look nice. All right. Yes. Yep, I think that's gonna be all right. I'd like for it to actually bend up that high, but it's gonna be a little bit lower. It's gonna be at least an inch lower, maybe an inch. That's about an inch, three quarter of an inch. Somewhere around there. Yes, that's all right. That's all right. Yep. Okay. All right. So you guys, you see what I see. And I think we can roll with that. So, now, I'm about to get out of this coat. As you can see, nose getting, nose getting cold. It's, it's chilly out here. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. That's all right. Because uh, I'm going to be on that plane in the morning. And I'm going where it's warm. <laughs> so, with, with all that being said, with all that being said, with all that being done, your first time coming to the channel. Hey, once again, I always like to say welcome to the channel. Now, Still waiting on that. Still waiting on that carburetor. Actually, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna call them up because if it's not done yet, I'm gonna tell them just to hold off. Don't send it until I get back. Just, just keep it there. Because if it ain't done, don't worry about trying to hurry up and get it to me because I'm not here. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna give them a call and uh, we're gonna go from there. But. Stick with us. Stick just just hang out with me just a little while. Just just a little while. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump on this train and we're gonna we're gonna pick up some speed and we're gonna just keep moving. We're gonna keep moving. So, with all that being said and done, I'm gonna shut this thing down. One more look. I think I think that's gonna be just fine. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Leave a comment. You think it's gonna look alright? Leave a comment. You think it's gonna look terrible? Leave a comment anyway. I'll read it. I ain't gonna be mad at you. <laughs> okay. All that being said and done, 392 Blurred Lines coming at you. Peace out.